Hello again, everybody. Jeff Dover from the high school uh, going over another question that came about with regard to the use of the Promethean board. This time, uh, I wanted to show you um, how to connect uh, either a desktop computer or a laptop computer and use it in conjunction with the Promethean board, very much like you use it in conjunction with the smart board, the, the touch interface, that sort of thing. Uh, to get started, you have to have a connection between the computer itself, the laptop or the desktop, and the board. And there are two different types of connections. Uh, one involves this standard blue cable that connects, say, a monitor to a CPU. Okay, it's called a VGA cable, and you would see it in the list of choices as you uh, select the input, usually for the uh, board. Or you can have an HDMI connection that has this uh, cable that you might use, um, say, on a a flat screen TV. Um, it might be this way at both ends. Your computer may not have this type of port, but we do have this uh, adapter. So either of those two connections. You also have to have a, in order to use like a smart board, you have to have a second cable that's USB on one end and like a printer USB on the other, this sort of, sort of square type connection. That allows it to uh, activate the touch interface with the uh, computer itself so that you're just extending the monitor or the, the laptop to the Promethean board. Okay, so when you turn the Promethean board on, this is uh, the, the home screen that comes up for the board itself. Um, we'll go to this secondary menu here and select source, and you can see all the things that are connected to the Promethean board. Right now, the home is highlighted, that's what I'm on. Yesterday, or the last time, I talked to you about the OPS, which is the, uh, the other version, the one that has the bubbles and the pink uh, circle at the bottom to access. And then anything else that's connected, in this case, I have a laptop connected to the board via an HDMI cable. So I'm gonna select that, and it's gonna simply take my laptop screen, and it's gonna transition it to the Promethean board. And now I can, uh, utilize anything that's on my laptop screen via the board just like you did when it was a, uh, a smart board. Okay, so this type of connection basically utilizes the board as uh, just like the smart board. It is an extended laptop that you can manipulate via touch. Now a second question came up about using uh, the software for Promethean board, and it's called Active Inspire. I personally did not use it. I transitioned quickly away from the laptop connectivity of the Promethean board and just used the capabilities of the board itself as a standalone computer. But it should be installed on your laptop. If it's not, it can be easily installed. It has this uh, little icon up here. A little, it looks like a, a calculator, a pen that sort of thing. We have it open here, open here, open here. Well, that doesn't make it good. All right, let's, let's try that. You have to pick an option. All right, we're going to have to edit that. Yeah, you got to pick an option on that thing that's in the center uh, of the screen. Okay. All right, so we'll continue there. Sorry, that was terrible. Okay, so this is the uh, opening screen that comes up as you select Active, Inspire, and all the different things that you can do. I encourage you to explore it. Again, I, I didn't use it much, but you can see if I uh, close that dashboard and I have this uh, on the screen, it looks very similar to the uh, screen that you would have for, say, a smart notebook file. Okay. Um, I do understand that if you have some smart notebook files that have been created, there is a possibility that some of those files can be converted to Active Inspire files, so you don't have to try to recreate every single thing. But uh, the question was, is there um, a software that you can use the, with the Promethean board very similar to the smart notebook? And the answer is yes, and it's called Active Inspire. And so um, that's how you can use the laptop with the Promethean board so that all the uh, things that you could do um, on the laptop itself or any other computer, you can do the same here.
because it's just a, an extended touch screen. If you have any other questions or if you have anything to add, again, please email me at my CurryTuck email address and I'll be happy to answer your question as soon as I, as soon as I get it.